Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. I actually just woke up here at Sapphire Falls, which is a Lowe's resort on Universal property. It is a gorgeous day outside and we are getting ready to go over to the spa at Portofino Bay, which is right across the way over here, about a mile from here. We're gonna go to the spa and then tonight we're gonna go to Orlando Informer, which is a really fun event over at Universal. I'll have to tell you guys a little bit more about that a little bit later in the vlog because I'm running late to my facial appointment. I might get a massage. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to self-care a little bit today and I'm going to take you through a day in my life getting ready for an event. It's going to be a fun video, so stay tuned. Let's get the video started. I'm just going to show you guys a quick realistic overview. Obviously, I slept in a bed last night, <laughs> but this is our room here. We have a lot of storage space under the TV here, and this one is a fridge. I love the get ready space here, right outside of the bathroom, because this mirror has a really fun button. Where you can brighten it, or darken it, with the touch. Love it, love it. And a really nice shower, with a bench, and there's your toilet and then just a closet for the extra hotel necessities. We are in room 2617 and this is the view. It's really nice, I can actually see the water taxi right there, which can take me over to Universal tonight. Goes right over there, goes right over to Universal Resort. So that was fun, quick, to the point. I look like <laughs> absolute crazy person and I'm very, very pale. So I'm gonna head over and see what they can do about that over at the spa and see if they can make me look a little bit better. Yesterday I went and got my eyelashes done and I got my nails done yesterday. So just a little bit left to be ready for Orlando Informer tonight. We just made it to the spa. We're gonna head inside and I don't know how much I can show you but I will try to show you as much as possible. All right guys, so my facial is done. I feel beautiful and my eyebrows are waxed. So they're still a little bit red from waxing but that was Fabulous. I had Paula and Roseanne do all of this for me. Um, Roseanne was absolutely fabulous. Loved her. So, cast shout out, team member shout out to her. She was great. They gave me a free bottle of water. I got to relax. I'll include the clips right before this that I took on my phone instead. So I have a whole vlog on where I've been to the spa before and I've explored this hotel. I'm gonna link it here, like over here, and then in the description down below as well because it's a fabulous vlog of Portofino Bay. Fabulous hotel. All right guys, so we are back at Sapphire Falls Resort. We just came into the lobby here. I think I might actually eat at Strong Water Grill tonight. There's a lot of gluten-free options over there and it kind of just looks like a chill bar sit-down area. There's a really big TV over here that's been playing the NFL for the last couple days, ESPN channel, so all the dads can come out and watch. Took a moment to just stop and hang out in the lobby and I got a really awesome seat where I can see almost the whole pool. This pool is enormous and you can kind of see a water slide back in that area this crazy staircase that goes down to more dining in the water taxi. Here is the game room that's open from 8 to 10 every day. Seems like a lot of fun in here. And then a quick overview of their fitness center. Came to this little outdoor patio area and they've got some pool tables. Oh, they have a walk-in here. And the music's coming from this live DJ that's over there breaking down right now. Oh, it feels so good out right now. Found another restaurant down at the bottom of the stairs where you can watch them cook. Amatista Cookhouse. Oh, it sounds really good. They have a breakfast menu and a dinner menu. A breakfast buffet too. Yum! And you can come right on out and walk the path and find the water shuttle over to Universal. 
of course, after I filmed the room tour, they came back and made the bed. So, they did come back and clean the room, which is really awesome. Thanks for cleaning and making the bed every day, Universal, because sometimes Disney doesn't do that. Sometimes Disney only does it every other day, or every third day for DVC, and that sucks. So let's get ready for Orlando Informer. We're gonna see if this is like all continuous one vlog or if it's too long, then I'm gonna have to separate it. Hopefully we can fit it all into one. All right guys, so it's been a few minutes, hours, but we are finally ready for Orlando Informer. Orlando Informer is a website, a company, a blog site that posts and helps people plan their Orlando vacations. They have all of the 411 on Universal, Disney, SeaWorld, everything here. You can get your information on it and you know, they help plan and they make a perfect vacation for everyone. So what they do is that they rent out Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure a couple of times a year, usually two days. So this one is December 10th and 11th. They rent it out, the people buy tickets, and you can only come in if you have a ticket. So it's way less crowds, free food, fun meet and greets. The lines are crazy short. So I'm gonna experience it for the first time tonight and I'm gonna take you guys with me to see if you would want to buy your Orlando Informer tickets and go to the event yourself. It does sell out incredibly, incredibly fast. Like, like months on months on months in advance. So if you plan on buying a ticket and you like my video, go ahead and go to their website and see when the next meetup is because it's probably already sold out already. Let's go to Universal Studios. All right, friends, and just like that, we are here at the Orlando Informer meetup at Universal, and I'm so excited to get in. I just checked in out at the kiosk out front, and they gave me this cute little package that has my key to get in, and a $15 gift card to spend on uh, food, because the free food doesn't start until 9 o'clock on Saturdays. So I get free food for the next hour and a half, and then I get free food all night after that. They gave me my little bracelet so that everyone knows I'm here, and I am just waiting for the day guests to clear out so that we can have so much fun. We're gonna have fun at Islands of Adventure and here at Universal Studio side. There's a bridge between both of them that I can cross. I am so excited. This is my first one, so bear with me as I uh, explore and you cannot have to make the same mistakes I do. So I was just doing a little reading to see if we had like some type of plan for the evening. We have got 25 attractions to enjoy, food and beverages, less crowds and breathtaking holiday experiences. Of course, Jurassic Velocicoasters rolling in hot. And you can enter and start enjoying attractions at 5 p.m. on select dates. So today is December 11th. So, yep, the park is just now closing and we can stay here until 1.30 in the morning. We've got all of Harry Potter World, we've got Marvel, Jurassic Park, and then all of Universal. It's going to be crazy. Definitely get on this website and read about Orlando Informer. The cute little elves are still out. Oh, hi! Merry Christmas! We also have to come back and check out the tribute store too. And obviously the Macy's parade just ended because there is tons of confetti on the ground so all of the daytime stuff is now over. We're coming into Orlando Informer time. They're sweeping the confetti. You go girl. We are having a Christmas dance party. The whole park has been decorated for Christmas. I haven't seen it since it started being Christmas here and I love it. Ooh. This is the tallest tree in all of Orlando, I swear. This area is my absolute favorite area of Universal, no matter what time of year it is. It's gorgeous. I love it. So instead of sitting over at Universal and waiting, I decided to come over and hang out at Islands of Adventure to see what Seuss Landing is like at Christmas time and see if I can find the Grinch. We're gonna ride the trolley in the sky as our first ride because it was a literal walk-on. So we're gonna start there. 
All the places you go, there is fun to be done. The Serious McGurk is the world's greatest show. On the face of the earth or what? I do. I like them, Sam. I am. I like these green eggs and ham. Very good. Now the star-bellied sneeches had bellies with stars. The plain-bellied sneeches had none upon bars. Those stars weren't so big. They were really quite small. You might think such a this thing This is just as crazy as if we were supposed to remove over the water. Because they had stars, <laughs> the starred belly sneeches would brag. We're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. That day all the sneeches forgot about stars. And whether they had one or not. <gasps> oh, look, they have... They mark if they're gluten-free or vegan. It's free. My first item. They're gonna start a castle show at nine o'clock. So we'll actually get to see a castle show, which I've never seen before. So I'm heckin' excited to see it. Just gotta wait. boys are going on flight of the hippogriff because it is a five minute ride so we'll see them in just a second but that is another ride down for us tonight this is your third ride, the third ride. number third three ride. 15 minutes 15 minutes here we go bing bong <laughs> okay bye hello wow Boys are gonna do a little bit of a coaster count for me. I can go on little rides, but not big rides right now. Um, I'm just having some testing done on my heart, so I can't do anything fun right now until I get the test done. So just like a little life update. So you won't see me get on any of the coasters tonight. There's nothing like crazy wrong with me. I just wanted to let you know why I'm not riding the coasters with the boys. You got a camera, but I also love that you have a onesie that also looks formal. Okay, I have vlogged these two guys before at Disney Springs and now they're at Universal. We just started the show, she already got her hands up. I literally have them in one of my first vlogs I ever made. She's on beat because she's not a wife. Like the color of your dress, this is a maroon vibe. Pretty sure I just found my biggest fan. They said my raps are the rarest, bro. Rap is a full contact sport. So I wear a cup. Yeah. Yeah. So right now I gotta spit it like I spilled your drink. I came through with that drip, huh? We're in line to get free soda. You can also pay for alcohol. Time for popcorn. Thank you. I'm warm, man. Cheers. Fun. Burgers now. Now it's time for burgers. Oh, Looks like Dagwood has been here. Oh, chili dog, Chicago dog, potato salad, coleslaw. I just like that they have the little things on the side that says it's vegan or it's gluten free or it's vegetarian or I love that. Yeah. What meal is this? 
Um, the Orlando Informer movie. Popcorn. Fries, popcorn, ice cream, hot dog, gyro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Spider-Man, how you doing? Very good, very good. Very good. Oh, we're gonna stand right here. Awesome. We are taking the Grinchmas path all the way back over to studios. So we took the little backstage area back over to Universal Studios and we're going to go see Earl the Squirrel because that's who I'm here for. I'm here to see Earl the Squirrel. We're in line to meet Earl the Squirrel. So much animation. Going. All right, come on in there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And three, two, one. And three, two, one. Do another pose. Cute. Okay, one, more. one more. I don't know how I should pose. Perfect squirrel pose. There he Perfect. Goes. I'll come back for you. <laughs> We're coming back. We'll come back. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick trip through the through the tribute store because I know there's a special guy in here. If you want to meet Earl the Squirrel, he comes out every hour, um, 9:30, 10:30, and 11:30. So go meet Earl the Squirrel. <laughs> he is so cute. Oh, <gasps> wait! Oh, they come. They go in without color and they come out decorated. This is Earl the Squirrel's Chris Curious Christmas Curious. Why can't I pronounce this? This is Earl's Christmas tree. I feel like I need a hat. Mm. Squirrel gingerbread. We came in to see the special people here. Because the boys are on the board here. This is Harrison. And there's Torin that looks nothing like Torin. So now we're in the room that I wanted to go to the very most. This is the Grinch's area. Has all things Grinch in here. And a lot of the set props from the Grinch movie. Like his sleigh or his sled, or whatever you want to call it, with all the Whoville's presents. And then the last room in here is for the Yule Ball. So you'll find all your Harry Potter needs in here. Very cute. They play the Yule Ball waltz, I guess. Oh, those are so cute. Two, three, and one more. One, two, three. Very good. Thank you. I've actually never been in here. We're in the Monsters Cafe. Come to see what they're serving up. Serving up the grubs. Red pudding and pasta salad. Big sandwich. Is this from Fast and Furious? Oh, party. Check out all the cars, <laughs> everybody. Let's go, DJ! I like that. We are heading towards Diagon Alley now to get some butterbeer, and that will be the true test because it's always busy in Diagon Alley. And if it's not busy in Diagon Alley, then this event is worth it. <laughs> smells like fish in here. That's really not that bad for the most popular place. You have walking room and the stores aren't full. We'll take it. I am absolutely exhausted. I stopped and got more french fries, but now my hair looks wild. And we're back at Islands of Adventure again. We have 15 more minutes until the Grinch comes out. I guess we're gonna ride the cat in the hat. I'm so tired. It's a five minute wait. We saw him step in on the net. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Make that cat go away. You do not want to play. He should not be a bad but your mother is home. Do you hear? What? I saw her. Your mother! Your mother is near! Oh no! Wow. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Do you know him? Unfortunately, I do not. I'm so sorry. Aww. I see ankles! 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's this thing, you know, we always get out the ankles. I don't but see his time, ankles. He put lotion on them. <laughs> oh! Moisturize, baby. Ah. You know, sometimes I think it just might be cold outside, but it's not, you know? No, it's just it looks like snow just resting right on his ankle. <laughs> oh my god. But it's fine. Is that moisturizer or just uh -huh. like Thank you. <laughs> you know, but the you know what the best moisturizer is though? Huh? No, I'm asking you. What is it? Whatever you're using, because yeah, it's not so. what I'm using. Ha! <laughs> so what brings you to Hoobell? Just hanging out. Well, that's her bar. We're only here because of her. She's the okay. okay. No, 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 no. So, I met this nice couple. Okay, they were visiting Hoover, right? Right. And they were from do. they were from a place called England. Okay, I think that's north of the snowflake. Probably. Yeah, England. I would say so. It might be another snowflake. Snowflake, nonetheless. We're all neighbors. So I was like, huh? Wait. Right? Because they had this like accent, you know? They were like, hello. And I was like, what? You know? So I was like, <clears throat> let's take a photo. Okay? Right? So that on the count of three, I was like, let's all say blue. You know? And they laughed. You know? And I was like, oh why no. Why are you laughing? You know? And they were like, <laughs> I was like, what? And they were like, oh, blue on Arsenal Lake means toilet. Right? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of today's vlog. We had a super fun time at Orlando and Fort I love pentatonics! Well, this is how I'm gonna end the vlog. I gotta end it really fast or I'm gonna get copywritten. So we had a really fun time at Orlando Informer. I hope you guys really liked the vlog and subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna go back to bed. Good night!